Welcome to Movie Monday. Uh, stuff happened. <laughs> yeah, that's the simple way of putting it. Um... Yeah. Hence why um, there was no video last week, or at least no Movie Monday last week, and also why we're now watching Idiocracy, and also why Tara's not here. Uh, so hopefully things will be normal next week. Um, but yeah, Mai and I watched Idiocracy. So what'd you think? <laughs> It <laughs> It is not what I expected, but it is an accurate representation of American society nowadays. <laughs> yeah, that's a very common statement that is said now. Because again, this was made back in 2007, so, you know, back when things were like... Still reasonable. kind of okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and like, there's definitely been a lot of comments I know about, like, how the president in this movie was, like, better than Trump, because at least he, like, tried to help. <laughs> yeah. They're not wrong. So, yeah. But there's a, there's a lot in here that's, like, okay, so in case you don't know, this is basically a movie about how... Uh, due to, you know, the idea that, you know, there's no, like, selection pressure on humans anymore to, like, make sure people are smarter or whatever, that in the future everyone's stupid. Um, and so the most average person and a prostitute end up accidentally getting, like, cryogenically frozen until 2505, when they end up being, like, the smartest people alive, and then shenanigans ensue. Um, yep. first of all, I would like to say that, like, Despite the, that, like, premise seeming reasonable, um, by pretty much any sort of, like, actual metric of measuring, like, intelligence and behavior, uh, the new generations are, like, have been smarter than the older ones, and, like, better in that sense, so... It doesn't seem to be true, <laughs> but, because I... But it's still a fun, you know, ignoring that, it's just a, it's a fun premise to think about when just, like, everything's gone to shit because everyone's just stupid. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'm not gonna criticize it too harshly for that. Yeah, I mean, um, I think it's, like, subsequent generations are getting smarter, but certain groups of people in America seem to be getting dumber. I I think it's largely that, like, the people who seem to have, how do I phrase this, the people who are both either in power or at least, like, are the ones who the people in power listen to. <laughs> are yeah yeah so it definitely like the loudest ones right so yeah, yeah. And there's definitely even besides like the stupidity aspect of it there is for example you know how like everything is like corporatized you know like that's a part of this um to the point where like, the world's on fire yeah there's like no water because it's all gatorade basically <laughs> <laughs> so you know shit like that that's like okay so it's not just everyone's stupid it's there's a little bit more to it than that um yeah but, and there's, like, advertisements everywhere and shit like that. So, yeah, the the Costco that's, you know. <laughs> the quote-unquote world building is interesting. Uh-huh, yeah, definitely. You have the Costco, you have the... Celebratory guns. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just random shit that happens in this, like, when the police kind of, like... Start like shooting at the car, and then all these people around are just like, "Yeah, violence!" <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's just it's one of those where you just sort of sit back, watch the spectacle, <laughs> you know. Yeah, it's 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 decent entertainment considering how stupid. And, and, and again, it's stupid, but like that's the point, obviously. It has a very, it does have a very American flavor to it, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah, so, I don't know, I, I, I find this really entertaining, um, and I like showing it to people who hadn't seen it before. <laughs> I mean, I did laugh, it's just, it's also like depressing in a, in, in a way. yeah. So, uh, hopefully, um, that won't happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or at least not in that way, yeah. Um, we have 
other things to worry about. <laughs> yeah, I guess on the flip side, hopefully, uh, humanity isn't extinct by 2505. <laughs> yeah, I... I don't think so. It's very hard to... Especially to, uh, given, you know... Basically, it, it seems like very hard to actually like make humanity extinct. Um, mm. Given stuff to happen. It, it's much easier to like completely fuck human society, by the way. But <laughs> <laughs> extinction it seems very unlikely. But civilization, society in any meaningful way? Well, we'll find out. I guess. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Whoa. Uh, but yeah. I don't know. Any? I feel like there's not too much to say about this because the the point of the movie is like it's just the whole concept of it as a whole, right? Yeah. There's not really like oh this specific character or anything. It's like I mean you know it, it, they all serve the function for the overall thing, right? So yeah. Yeah. There's not a lot to comment on. I mean I I'm. At least impressed by the world building. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And like, because there's, um, there's definitely some like CGI sort of like backgrounds for certain things. Um, yeah. But like the overall look of it all, you know, comes together quite well, I think. Mm hmm. So, yeah. So, yeah, if you haven't seen this, um, give it a go. I'm sure you'll, you'll probably find it entertaining. Um, and, and yeah, just uh, just know that statistically, this and scientifically, this will probably not be our future, at least exactly like this. Because <laughs> <laughs> if 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 it is, we are truly fucked. <laughs> mm. Well, I guess that's that. <laughs> Do we give a rating or? I, I don't know if it's possible to. I don't know. I feel like it wouldn't be fair to give it a rating. Oh? I don't know. I mean, I have a number that I think makes sense for me. I mean, I can try. Uh, I'll gauge it based off of what you say. Okay. Because I don't know an exact number. I just know, like, general feeling, I suppose. I mean, for me, it's like... Again, you know, I've said this before where, you know... Is it the kind of movie, not only do I enjoy it, but also is it something like, oh, I'd, would I want to see that again, or also like show other people it or something? Um, mm -hmm. That's kind of one of my benchmarks. And so for that sense, I'm actually going to give it an 8. <laughs> oh. Because, <laughs> again, I think the premise is, you know, fun, it has fun with it, and, you know, it was not any, like, super deep meaning or anything, no. And it's yeah. Not, it's not, like, emotional or anything, so no, it's not going to get, like, a pet or something. But, like, it's just, it works really well for, it works well for what it is, and it's entertaining, and, it, and yeah, so I'm going to give it an 8. I think I'll go with a six because I mean I didn't hate it. <laughs> this is still <laughs> higher than like Man of Steel. <laughs> um, the best, and part. I will forever be salty about that. But just be grateful. Again, I've said this before. Just be grateful that I'm not. We're not watching Batman v Superman. <laughs> oh my god! I would actually kill you if we watched <laughs> BBS. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean. <laughs> I feel like the world building is the thing that impressed me the most because I was like, wow, they they really took the corporatization really far and yeah. it's kind of impressive. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. Um, all right. Well, uh, next up uh, for next week. Next, next week is actually the first week of August, which sounds very wrong. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, but it is. So we're up for another show, and it's my turn. And I, I like didn't even realize that actually my show was next until like a few days ago, and I was like, oh shit, what do people want to do? Um, did you change it last? Well, <laughs> I guess you didn't have a solid idea. No, to we kind of we kind of talked for a little bit as, a, as an idea. Um, mm -hmm. and I actually I thought about the idea that we talked about, and I was like. Maybe. And then I had another idea, and I was like, maybe, um, but I am actually going to go with what we were talking about. So, um, I'm going to, we are going to be watching season three of Infinity Trade. Whoa. <laughs> we're <laughs> jumping over season two. Not any, I don't think season two is bad, um, by any means. I just think it's, it's like, it's solid, but I 
I don't know. I, I just want to jump over to season three, and there's only a little bit that you need to know to kind of get ready for season three. And season I mean, three it's is, probably fine. Yeah. I I like season three the most of any of them. It's mm -hmm. I think it's really really good, and it's uh very different emotionally than this one. So okay. I'll say that. So that'll be okay. next, next Sunday, August first. Ugh. Yep. Oh. God, that's I weird. I know, oh my god, the school is so stupid. Well, see you later. <laughs>